all right people i had to do this i had to do this i just i just had to welcome back welcome back to another great episode of what the beers and right here is a really what the beers moment another one from forbidden knowledge and really did microsoft make the first dna hard drive wow well we're about to see They've just developed the first DNA hard drive Microsoft has. One gram of DNA can store 433 petabytes of data. Oh so they've created a digital DNA hard drive. So now we have the capability of transferring consciousness into a storage capacity. We can literally take a skin cell from your body, create a clone of you up to whatever age specified, and then transfer your consciousness from uh, your body, your mind, into that new avatar. They've wow. just developed the first DNA. So there's a movie out about this I saw on... I believe it was Prime, and it was literally just like this. So the late a guy came in with a head problem. He was had something going on, and this lady literally, throughout the movie, she literally took a machine and put it over his head, and took her son conscious when her like her son was inside of a a hard like a hard drive and she took her son conscious from the hard drive and put it inside this guy and he didn't recognize his actual family he only recognized her as his mom trippy trippy story trippy movie uh, but this sounds like microsoft is literally literally have the same thing like this is optional you can really literally clone yourself and make more of you at different differentiating age so i can literally live for the next hundred years i don't ever have to die i could just pay to have them download my conscience and put me in another body and i'm fully ready to go take on the world for the next 200 years so a person can literally be here for the next thousand years wow this is nuts wow what the biz Oh my gosh. Anyway, here's another video I want to show you guys before I get out of here. And then transfer your consciousness. There's people living on the moon. There's already a breakaway civilization there. We've been there for a very long time. People were on Mars, and a few whistleblowers have come forward and said that the people on Mars look like the ancient Egyptians. Governments wow. are so advanced now. They used to be 50 years ahead of us, of what we know exists. Now they're about 300 years ahead of us. In the last wow. 10 years, over 200 NASA scientists dead. Strangely, it's kind of horrifying, and I think that the people who may want to come out are afraid to, uh, you know, to, to die. There's people wow. living on the moon. There's already a break. <laughs> Damn it! That is a real what the biz moment. Damn! People on Mars is living there and taking out NASA people like a mother. 74 NASA's was murdered over the course of 10 years. That should tell you something. Like, they up there being gangsters. Hey, to the Mars gods, if y'all listening, uh, can y'all just, like, save me, a, like, an apartment building on the side? Like, you know, with, I can take a little mini pool. I don't need a big pool. I take a mini pool, you know what I mean? Um, you know, make sure you have some... Some peanut butter and apples, because I love peanut butter and apples, you know what I mean? And I'm good to go, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, to the Mars gods, golly, I don't want to come up there and y'all, like, kill me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Anyway, people, that is our episode. Uh, tune in next time. Wow, this was amazing. Share it. Show other people. I know they're going to be astonished by it. Uh, but, yeah, there are people on Mars. And literally, gangsters. Gangsters on Mars. Boom, 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 boom. Gangsters on Mars. Boom, boom. Gangsters on Mars. Boom, boom. Gangsters on... Anyway, I'm out of here, people. I take... <laughs> you gotta take it easy. Remember, one subscriber, one video, ten subscriber, ten video. This is a What the Biz TV show. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate y'all. Tune in next time. Cheers.